Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I recently did a video discussing Casey Neistat's choice to use the GH5, and for vlogging specifically, it all came down to that very angle screen for him. He said, if you'll recall, the Sony was better autofocus, better image quality, but without that very angle screen, it makes it useless for vlogging, which I tend to agree with. And um, the question that then comes to mind when I got thinking about that further was why go with the GH5 instead of the G85? The G85's got IBIS. You don't need uh, the 20 megapixel sensor for um, video. It's got beautiful 4K video, and it's smaller and lighter and at a lower price point. Now, Casey's probably not price sensitive, but I would think smaller and lighter with the very angle LCD, access to all the same lenses, same video quality. I'm thinking, why go with the GH5? Now, the GH5 is supposed to have a little bit better high ISO, and maybe perhaps that's why Casey went with it. But what do you guys think? Do you think the G85 is a better option for vloggers than the GH5? I would suggest it is, especially if you're looking for better value. If you're looking, if price is a concern, it's certainly less expensive and is giving you most of what the GH5 can do, perhaps with the um, caveat there of a little better high ISO on the GH5. But for the price, and if you watch it, you know, if you're not shooting in super dark situations, I think the G85 is a fantastic option. What do you guys think? Would you go GH5 or would you go G85? And is your choice dependent upon the price, is the value? For me, that's always a consideration. I really like the GH5, but I'm not going to pop the money on it because I don't need the additional features. Would I like to own it? Sure. If I was independently wealthy, I'd buy two. But the G85 that I'm filming this with right now is a better option for me as it does everything I need and it has all the features that the GH5 has that I need and it's a much better price. In fact, the GH, uh, G7 covers a lot of that too. And if you're really looking for the best in value, that may be um, the crowning glory. Now, for vloggers, the IBIS in the G85 that the G7 does not have is probably a deciding factor to go with the G85. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Would you go G85? Would you go GH5? Or do you think G7 is fine with no IBIS and you just use a stabilized lens or you would manage that with tripods or whatever else? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss that a little bit. The best of those for a vlogging camera. And, uh, you know, would the G85 perhaps be the best vlogging camera, especially when we factor in the value? Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.